Hey there, welcome to the video. If you're new to this channel, my name is Sanyi Deraba and I'm 16 years old self-taught developer. So in this channel, I basically share my journey as a 16 years old developer. I will share uh, hackathons, uh, hackathon vlogs, and also like um, share the apps that I'm working on, launch videos, and whatever. So if you want to enjoy that kind of content, make sure to subscribe and like this video. Um, I right, so... So this video is like, um, basically like I've been working on this app, um, it's called Y scroll. Um, you know, um, uh, like, you know, where those moments, like where you open YouTube shorts, you just want to watch one to two videos, but you kind of like been watching it for the past two hours, you know, like you waste your time and you don't get your work done. So that's, that's what I was been struggling with. So. Uh, that's why I'm building voice call to solve that issue. Uh, although, like, I have seen some, uh, I've seen some apps that can block YouTube Shorts entirely. Um, I also didn't want to kind of like block it entirely. So because like YouTube Shorts are also kind of like a short entertainment, it could be a good thing. But like overusing it aggressively is kind of like the problem. So like that's what I, that's why I wanted to fix that problem by building an app that you can actually like. Um, like go to the app that like you can set daily limit you can set a like uh, per session limit so like when the session is uh, reached you will kick it out of the YouTube shorts and then you can enjoy watching your YouTube um, or working your uh, your job so like also um, after like some cool down you'll be able to like watch YouTube shorts again and after your like daily limit is reached uh, you'll be like you're uh, kind of like kicked out of YouTube short like for the entire day like until the next day so yeah that's basically what I'm building and in this video I want to share it to you like uh, what the progress is so far and then uh, how I'm building it yeah so uh, make sure to stick until the end of the video because it's gonna be a great video all right so the first phase of this project was the design so I used Figma uh, for the design and I used a dribble and a few Figma templates for the inspirations. Um, the core screens I focused on were the intro or the welcome page and then the, the permission setup screen uh, where you enable the tracking from the settings and the daily and precision limit pages and finally the dashboard. So except for the dashboard all of these pages only appear the first time you open the app and one thing I realized while designing this app is that the UX or the user experience is actually way harder than the UI. So yeah, let me know which one is harder. Anyways, um, this is what the design looks like. We have the welcome page, the enabling, the daily limits, uh, sessions, and also the dashboard. Oh my god. Ooh, so here comes the fun part, the coding phase. So after finishing the design, it was finally time to bring Scroll to life, which means the coding. So I decided to go with React Native um, because it's good, I think. Um, so this is actually this is actually the first time I'm building a mobile application. Also, it's funny I just jumped into it. So I used Expo, which made things so much smoother. I think it's great um, for like app running stuff like that. But it's also like comes to the tricky part where like you kind of use it for accessibility service and it does work. So you have to use development build. So the main logic of the app is like built around like tracking how long user spends on YouTube shorts and like detecting detecting it and like kind of like um, you know recording it. So but here, the tricky part was detecting YouTube short isn't at simple as simple it sounds because like um, the IDs of shorts in phone actually change like frequently and it makes hard to identify them consistently. But I think it's challenging and achievable too. Yeah, so what I have in mind is like list out YouTube's unique IDs for the shorts and check if the current video belongs to shorts. Yeah, definitely challenging. Maybe maybe it's my first because it's, far, it's my first time, but I don't know. So alongside that, um, I worked on creating clean dashboard that displays like how much shorts you've watched and daily limits. Um, honestly, this uh, mobile app is hard, bro. It's hard. All right, guys, uh, that's it. Uh, that's it for today. So the app is almost in. And yeah, that's basically it. And so stay tuned for the next video. Peace.